<laughs> yeah, and uh, he is going to take over, uh, to take you around and tell you all the histories and everything that you want to know. Yeah. Uh, please, let's ask questions. And uh, in between, is going to stop for you to have some reflection in the uh, dangers. And uh, Amakus also will be here for him, for her also to do uh, one or two things. So please, I'll hand you over to him. Uh, I want him to introduce himself, his name, and uh, who he is. He's a big man. That's why, that's why he has cropped. Like <laughs> Thank you, my big man. Uh, <laughs> Captain retired. <laughs> but if we hold our hands, that doesn't mean we are just friends. Right. Yeah, yeah. Alpha Ghana. Thank you for playing with us. That was very Ghana. important. You know, we are totally opposite. Yeah. 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 Right, my dear wonderful brothers and sisters yes. to the historic Cape Coast Castle. In fact, you are on the pilgrimage to your ancestral land. So we don't consider you as visitors, so to speak. You are just coming back home. Yeah. Uh, what we are. My name, Robert Morgan Mensa, officially welcoming you to the facility. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, glad to meet you here. I'll lead you around the castle as the guide. Feel free to ask questions as the story unfolds. Later on, we move to the slave dungeons, and later talk briefly about the graves. We'll also be on top of a tunnel. I saw a couple of us here on it already. That tunnel exists between the male and the female dungeon, where our fathers had to walk through that tunnel, join our mothers at the door of no return, where they boarded the dagger canoes to the various ships, and to then unknown destinations. Thank God today they are known destinations. We also visit the condemned cell. Yes, as if the dungeons were not enough, they had a place for some of our fathers who continuously fought for their freedom. But the English called them troublesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Troublemakers. Yeah. And they held them in that angle where they never came back alive. Because there they never gave them food, no water, no light, no air, mm. till they dropped dead. Later on, time permitting, we visit the top, and then finally we end the tour at the Palaba Hall, where you have a lot to see. History about 400 years ago, mm. that chronicles who we were before the coming of the Europeans what they claim to be and what they were never to be huh. true to independence and after huh. post independence they are all the midway to give you the opportunity to do the performance or the rituals that all the time we do uh, we are at the entrance and then and also the reception area this beautiful map here of the castle at the moment, we are here. Soon we go to 10 and 13. And then, Gulf of Guinea down the sea. Some of us were here already, 16, with the canals. This is where our mothers were held for a period of time before they exited to get boat. This is the third and the last castle in Ghana built by the British merchant after 1665. However, labor here by our own ancestors, but they took the credit as far as the engineering is concerned. British built it 1665, but they had to overcome the Dutch who occupied this land. Dutch also fought Danes. And when the Danes were defeated here, they moved to Accra and had their own castle, what they call the Christian's Book. Danish earlier on fought Swedish. Mm. And Swedish fought Portuguese. Mm -hmm. So we have Portugal, Sweden, Denmark, Lebanon, and then the English. Yeah. All over this piece of land, in the name of the precious <coughs> mineral called Gold. 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 Say that. <laughs> 
Gold, 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 but later they said human resource as scattered. On the basis that the Native Indians and Americans were not too strong enough to cope with the prevailing climatic conditions at the time, in that they were dying of certain diseases that Africans were accustomed to. Hey, yes, 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 yes. They were very vulnerable. Yes. Those were the bases. So they needed more people from this region. And one Roman father by name, Bartolomeo de Las Cascas, endorsed the trade. Later he regretted doing that, but too little, too late yeah. at the time. Yeah. The talk very sad and emotional. Yeah, let us bring the emotions down and thank our ancestors who survived the Odin, who survived the journey. If yes. we should go to the dungeons, you see yes. the horror, the terrible things that they went through. Can you imagine staying with your own waste as well as somebody else's waste? No. Your own waste, you don't want to see it. How much somebody else's? But no. you've been confined. To stay with it until the next day when it was clean off. While some were dying, it still kept strong. So some died in the dungeons on the middle passage. They don't also have a destination. But thank God, our direct ancestors didn't die either in the dungeon or the middle passage. So we are who we are because they survived the journey. Yes. 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 Yeah. We're strong people. Our ancestors had to walk all the way from present day Burkina Faso, Tamale, Yendi, Sisala, Salaga, the biggest and largest slave market at the time in the East Gonja district of the northern region of Republic of Ghana. That's about 700 kilometers away from here I'm talking about. Most of whom were captured largely as a result of the tribal wars, ethnic conflicts. Domestic slavery existed prior to the coming of the Europeans. But the treatment was quite, quite different from what our ancestors went through here. In those days, you could eat whatever the queen, the kings, whatever they ate, even if it was the residue. But here, very little. Sometimes you got to struggle with it before you got it. And that was no easy. Tribal wars was it. Kidnappers, slave raiders also took undue advantage of some of the tribal wars. You see, some of our chiefs wanted to expand their state to kingdoms and to empires. Mm -hmm. And how do you achieve that? You needed to fight the weaker state yeah. so they will come under your jurisdiction. And here in Ghana, you know a typical example of one particular tribe. You know it yourself. They told the land of Ghana today was Everywhere was full of gold. So they will conquer you. And then you come under their, their rule. So for you to walk from Burkina Faso to this side. Some died on the way. And then this side. Portuguese said they were here as explorers, exploring the west coast of Africa to Asia. Two, they were here as missionaries, teach you the Bible and way to God Almighty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By so doing, kill the African traditional faith, and then also Islamic faith was developing at a faster rate. Remember, our ancestors engaged the Arabs first before the Europeans came during the Trans Sahara trade. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So they were here to teach you the Bible. Mm -hmm. Third, they said they had found gold in abundance, so therefore they will stay on your land. Yeah. Uh -huh. Subsequently, name your land Gold Coast, mm -hmm. La Côte d'Ivoire today, Ivory Coast. Yes, 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 yes. All this while, Elmina Castle was in existence, 1482, but they never had their first human cargo there as captives. They rather had them from Weda in Benin, Calabar, Badagre in Nigeria today. So almost every two weeks, six weeks, they had to export captives from that angle to the Elmina Castle. They told that no, cost of transportation, timing, and what have you, why don't we get some over there? So from the immediate environment to the middle belt of Ghana, Kumasi, Sunyani, Wenchi, yeah, Wenchi in the, in the middle of Ghana, Kintampo, and finally from the north. So majority of our ancestors taken as captives were from up north. If you survive the journey here, we have a venue we call Palava or a floor after the museum where they will examine your strength they look at your teeth, your body, before they will buy you or reject you. Mm -hmm. 
So it tells us once again that it wasn't every single being brought here as captive that had a pages. No. The Europeans took away the strong, energetic people yeah. of ancestors. Perhaps they knew that the conditions ahead of them wasn't going to be easy. So they had to go by that area. And then they were exchanged for fabrics, mirror, gun gun powder, drinkables like whiskey, schnapp, or rum, butter trade, butter system. After which, courtyard here, hot iron metal from fire, oil, and then shh, branding. branded. Because there were more than two entities here doing the buying of the captives. They are the Manchester companies, Liverpool, Plymouth, and Bristol, at least four. So my dear sister here bought, my sister you equally bought, my brother also bought. All men going to the male dungeon, female downwards, almost 100 meters away from here. Why do you want to claim ownership of everyone in the male dungeon as your property? Will the two parties agree? They will not agree. So the branding was an afterthought. Initially, it wasn't there. If you're the only person doing the buying, you are not competing with anybody else. So you wouldn't brand any. But because of the lucrative nature of the trade at the time, other European countries also wow. came in, and then the entities yeah. came in. So you bought, also bought, also bought, and they had to choose them. That strong decision. And then after the men to their respective dungeon, the females down there. So basically, three castles in Ghana, <coughs> Elimina is to Portuguese, by the Portuguese, uh, I mean, after 1482. They named the area Lamina or Damina, but we made it Elmina. When Portuguese were here, they named this community Cabo Corso, meaning short Cape. But British changed it to mean Cape Coast. Cabo four letters Cape, Corso five letters Coast. So Cape Coast is not hyphenated. And British for the Dutch here, Dutch fought Danes, Danes, Swedish, Swedish, Portuguese. Five different European countries at one time or the other settle on this piece of land. So as we journey to the dungeons, a lot to see, a lot to be told. But as I said, let us bring the emotions. I know it's a very sad story at the time. <coughs> let us thank Almighty God and our ancestors who also endured all the pains and yet survived the journey. Yeah. We are who we are because they survived yeah. the journey. Okay, I share. I share. Yes.